What comes to mind when you hear the word sensitive? Tears? Low tolerance? Thin skin? Easily offended? Inflexible? Weak? Shy? Anxious? Exaggerating the effects of pain? How often do we hear sensitive used as a criticism, a negative, something that people need to get over in order to enter the real world? Maybe you've been on the receiving end of this kind of thing yourself, told you need to grow up, to be stronger, to stop being so sensitive. Do you think about and notice little details that other people seem to ignore? Do you long to get away from loud noises, bright lights and overwhelming situations? Do you spend a lot of time worrying about how other people are feeling? Don't worry, there's nothing wrong with you. In fact, according to the research that Elaine Aron and other people have done over the past few decades, 15 to 20% of the population are what she describes as highly sensitive people. Carl Jung called it innate sensitiveness, referring to people who may process sensory data much more deeply and thoroughly due to a biological difference in their nervous systems. This sensitivity boils down to the way that we process the sensory input from the world and the fact that we get overwhelmed more easily than other people by the things around us that travel through our sensory processing system. It's built into who we are, and like it or not, there is not much we can do about it. High processing sensitivity has already been found in over 100 species, including flies, birds, fish and dogs. These highly sensitive beings have a different survival instinct, being observant before acting. Your brain processes information and reflects on it much more deeply as a highly sensitive person. You're also more easily overwhelmed as a result. When things are too intense, complex, chaotic or novel for a long time, a highly sensitive person gets overstimulated. This trait has often been misunderstood. Because highly sensitive people prefer to look before entering new situations, they're often called shy. But shyness is learned, not innate. It's also been compared to introversion, so you may be surprised to know that 30% of highly sensitive people are actually extroverts. In cultures where it's not valued, highly sensitive people tend to have low self-esteem. We need to increase our awareness and understanding of high sensitivity as a society, otherwise we will fail to appreciate and enjoy the many wonderful gifts that the highly sensitive among us can bring.